You know something, Jeff? What, Drew? You are still dangerous. <laughs> yeah. That was me doing the teeth thing that Val Kilmer does in Top uh, Gun. Uh, Although when I did it, my head moved. Yeah. Because I'm wearing track IR you're, right now. You're wearing track IR right oh, now. So just, we are through the looking glass. It's so good to be back, Jeff. <laughs> oh, look at this. Man. I can turn my head and look at that screen that comes right up. All right. All right. Yeah, okay. I can look at that one. It, it just comes pops right, right up, up immediately. Boom. If, if I'm flying around, I can track dudes. If you weren't wearing your crazy ghost hat, what would you have to do to look over at that stuff? Uh, like use your uh, your your pov hat on your hotas. All right. Okay. You lost me. All right. <laughs> if I was using standard normal controls, is like that, a keyboard and mouse, like a gamepad okay. keyboard and mouse, I'm sure. thinking because it seems like you would want to have some kind of controller. I haven't actually used the uh, the 360 yeah. gamepad. I've used, yeah. used two sets of joysticks. Uh, I I could not imagine playing this with a keyboard and mouse thing that'd be really tough. Um, but some people, you know, like the gamepad. You'd probably use like the D-pad or something to like quick select this right, yeah, panel yeah. or quick select that panel uh, or like hold a button to to enable head look or whatever. Yeah. But uh, I quite like the track. Yeah, IR. you use your neck. Yeah, it's pretty great. Uh, so this is this is Elite Dangerous. This is the the final version of this mm -hmm. after it was uh, crowdfunded. Or I guess the the released for sale version. Well, they're all, they're always yeah. kind of working on it. The right? one they're, sure. Yeah. yeah, it is a it is an always online game though mm -hmm. you can play solo. It still requires a server connection yes. in those instances. Because okay. uh, if you'll go in here, for example, yeah. welcome to Cleave Hub. In the Everett. Everate uh, uh -huh. system. Yeah, okay. I think that's uh, where we are, how to pronounce it. Um, it's connected online because uh, things like the economy in the game um, is affected uh, by real player transactions. Got it. Um, and even if you are offline, it pulls in those online stats. Okay. So if people are trading a whole bunch of polymers online. Oh, yeah. The uh, polymer trade is huge. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna affect you in. Uh, Look at that demand. Medium your your game. Uh, I am technically playing online. There's very little difference uh, visually, um, but once you get out in the world, you will see like human players flying around and okay. they can kill you. Oh, and stuff. Well, all right. So uh, I'm I'm in this port here, the Cleave Hub in the Everett system. Yeah. Uh, maybe let's let's just get a get a sense of where we are here in the galaxy. You're sitting in a spaceship. I'm sitting in a spaceship in a in a in a uh, a thing, a uh, a station. Okay. Um, and this is a uh, stellar this is cartography. Kind of my, yeah, this is my surrounding systems here. We can take the mouse here and we can zoom out. We can zoom way out. Uh, we can zoom way out, Jeff. Um. They have modeled the entire Milky Way galaxy. Just go to Earth. Uh, well, I saw it over there. So. Oh, okay. All right. That's actually not that far. You're. you're yeah, well, I'm pretty. Actually, wait, no. That's pretty. Well, I can, that it, is pretty far. It's pretty. It's pretty far. Space. I can. Uh, let's see. I, I think big. I can. Hey, look at that! It is 73 light years from where I am right now. We could take a look at the system view. Where uh. Yeah, and you can sure. see each individual planet. Yeah, look at that. Okay. There's a station orbiting around uh, Venus. Yeah, that's what that is. Yeah, bunch around Earth. You know. Mm-hmm. Look at all these guys. What's going on over here? So yeah, we could fly there eventually. Uh, I can't because my ship can't go 70 uh, light years. I could probably jump there uh, over and over and over. Provided that there are refueling points along oh, the way, yeah, yeah. So you can see how far I can actually, whoa, uh, fly uh, with those blue lines. Like that is my range. Oh, okay. But if, you know, all if right, I go yeah. went over there, then I could obviously yeah, go over there. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so, so all right, so here we are in the the Aravit, Aravit system. Yes. What? What do you What do you do, Jeff? What do you do? What do you do? That is a good question. So, Elite is one of those games. Uh, it's very open-ended, mm -hmm. um, and you kind of just do what you want, Okay. and you set goals kind of for yourself. So I guess if you had to boil it way down, it would be earn money, upgrade your ship so you can earn more money. Yep, just like real life. Just like real life. So let's go actually over here. We can uh, 
take a look at my rank over there. My combat rank is harmless, my trade rank is penniless, my explorer rank is aimless. Those are kind of like, you know, in Civilization when you beat the game, you can beat it by technological victory or right. military yeah, yeah. or whatever. You can kind of go along any one or all of those uh, paths um, if you so choose. Mm -hmm. And that's something that's not entirely unlike, I guess, the original Elite. Right, so that was, um, um, I guess it's, it wasn't entirely, it was procedurally generated, but it was uh, much like No Man's Sky will be, um, there was a seed, so it was the same for everyone. Uh, but it was, it ran on the BBC Micro, so they couldn't like program too much into right, it. Right, yeah, yeah. But it was, you know, it but heralded and, and, and fondly remembered by people that played it back then. Absolutely. Uh, just because no other games were doing what, what Elite did back then, uh, really, and, and it definitely stood out. Yeah, it's been kind of the. Uh, um, I'm not British, so I don't have necessarily a huge background with it. it no, like nor I. You know, it is it is like Paradroid that way. <laughs> Sensible I don't even soccer, Sensi, if you will. Oh wow. Uh, munitions here we can buy if we so choose. Uh, I don't have. I don't think I have any. You have no guns. I have lasers. I don't have any. Uh, okay. All like right. uh, things that require bullets. Got it. Repairs. I'm all repaired up. Uh, bolt and board. This is where you get missions. Um, so you could, you could just do this uh, for, for credits. So for example, what's going on here? Recycling scheme. So this person wants me to carry scrap uh, to Yakabugai station. Uh-huh. Uh, so if I accepted that, uh, it would put two scrap in my cargo hold, and then I would have to fly it to uh, that system. Let's, what the heck, we can accept it. I haven't uh, determined a um, a penalty for like scuttling missions midway through? For abandoning through missions. Oh, hmm. um, Seems like they would be pretty uh, cross with you if you just said, ah, they would. I they would be cross. I took your scrap and ejected that's it into space. Would, that's what they would be with me. Yes. Uh, these are available but unobtainable missions, this one, because I don't have a cargo hold. Um, ah. That accommodates nine. I can only accommodate four cargo. Uh, fly, contacts. The, fly the scrap, man. Yeah? Yeah. All right, let me just uh, continue going okay, through yeah, just yeah. the rest of these real quick. Uh, bounties, uh, you can have a bounty on yourself uh -huh. if you break the law in any way, yeah. and you can pay that off if you want. Um, or you can uh, get a bounty voucher. I haven't actually done this ever yet. I've played this game for about 10 hours so far. Mm. Um, you can go get a bounty for a guy and then go kill him and get money for it. Combat bonds, you can go into a system that is in combat, and you can ally yourself with a uh, faction, um, and then fight for them. Okay. Here's my ship. This is what it actually looks like here. Uh, there is no third person, or at least I have You're borrowing it. some pulse lasers? Yeah, so th there's kind of a story. You are loaned this ship from a anonymous benefactor. Okay. And he's this like, anonymous hey. Anonymous benefactor's like, here's this space trapezoid. Get go, out there. <laughs> go have fun. Uh, that's about it. And I learned that from the manual. Oh. Um, and like, you know, you, I mean, you may have seen uh, back in our, over here, you know, news. Yeah. Stuff's happening. Things will change. Uh, these will affect the economy and things like that. Mm -hmm. And who owns systems? Uh, if you fly into a system that doesn't like you, you can just get blown out of the sky. Uh, or an anarchic system. Okay. Uh, you can buy ships. I can't afford any of this. Yeah. That's um, a million. You have not. I do not that. have that. Uh, uh, what sort of penalty is there for blowing up? You, I think if you have purchased a ship, um, like when I get blown up, this is a loaner, so I just get it back for free and there's okay. no real penalty. You can yeah. just get warped back to your thing. Uh, but I think you will incur some sort of penalties um, if you have stuff. Or if you're carrying cargo, you lose it, of course. Got it. Uh, th you can explore the, this is another thing you can do to earn earn goods or earn uh, creds. Earn creds. Uh, is explore and then sell your cartographic information to systems uh, or, you know, people far away from the place that you, you can see over there. Uh, you have to travel 20 plus light years away mm. from where you found it to sell it. Uh, so if you want to just explore, you can do that too. Okay. And you can also mine and stuff. You need to outfit your ship to be a mining ship. Uh, you need a mining module. Uh, what do you say we just fly, Jeff? Yeah, Let's get out just, there in space and, I don't know, take that scrap. Maybe? Yeah, you let's take run, that scrap. run that scrap mission? Sure. We're going to launch. I really like the way this looks. Yeah, and it's actually really, really functional. Uh, they, Some clever people designed this game. Um, 
it's very easy to use uh, and not too comp complicated. So here we are. This is an elaborate uh, wall. Yes. So I'm going to thrust up here. I'm going to take a look around. What happens if you this? don't leave the station within five minutes? You probably incur a fine. Okay. Ooh. Pretty big station. Just yeah. Some landing pads flashing over there. Cool. Yeah. I think this game looks pretty good. So let's just uh, translate around here so we can find the exit. There we go. Throttle up. I'm using the SciTech X52 uh, joystick mm -hmm. Rotas system. All right. I quite, I quite like it. I use CH products at home. Um, but the SciTech is pretty good for this game. And uh, track IR, in case right. uh, you, yeah. Didn't, yeah. you didn't catch that before. Ooh, it's dark out here. So let's just, uh, I gotta turn my landing gear. Landing gear retracted. Now I can go faster because it's weighing me down. Yep. Um, so you see over there, mass locked. That means I need to get far away enough from the station. Actually, if I turn off flight assist, flight assist. I can pivot around. Oh. Still go the same direction that I was. That's space for you. That's space, yeah. We can see how far away I am from that. There's another guy. Yeah, so now I'm flying away. Is that a, was that a human player right there? Uh, that, let's target him and see. Scanning, yep, that's a real guy, Commander oh. Firefox 13. He's got a thinking Russian to fly that thing. That's, I think that's one up from your fancy hat and joystick. That's right, thinking? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I got scanned by somebody. All right, so let's go over here and let's uh, scrap thing. We need to deliver that to the Yaka Bugai conserv con Conservatives. Cons okay. Conservative, yeah. Uh, in the Yakabugai system at the Serebrov station. Okay. okay. So Yakabugai, let's remember that. Go back to the navigation thing. Oh, so there's no, like, set a course for from that screen. You then have to go in here and set it. Right. That seems like the sort of thing that these sorts of spaceships would have uh, figured out. Would have had by now. Yeah. As a, as a UI thing, they would have been like, set a course for this. Just tap, touch it with your finger. It's possible. Think I it just... in Russian. Think Yakabugai in Russian. There you go. Comrade Yakabugai. It's possible there's a way to do that, and I just don't know it. Okay. But, no. yeah. um, I haven't figured it out. Yeah. I have read the entire manual, uh, and there are still a lot of things I don't know, mm -hmm. as will probably become apparent in this quick look. So, Great. all right. Uh, I've targeted that. That's not our destination, but we need to jump there to get there uh, direct. But we can't get there directly because my uh, drive is not fast enough. Okay. So, Could I'm, you theoretically just go this speed and get there eventually? I would get there in one year. That's what that means. Of real lifetime. Yes. All right, well, I'll uh, take my shoes off here. Yeah. Relax. Okay. Uh, instead, Jeff, I'm going to use my uh, frame shift drive. What? Yep. Yeah, that's not a real thing. Drive lady said it is. Oh, man. Listen to the lady. She's going to be she the would shortest know. year of my life, isn't it? Yep. So the frameshift drive can do two things. It can go super fast light speed, as we'll see here, and jump between systems. Mm -hmm. That I think looks pretty sweet. And of course, you know, loading is happening under here. I'm sure. And when we pop out, uh, like this, Whoa, okay. Let's just get away from that. Um, we are in Super Cruise. Whoa. Which I think is a cool term. Yeah. Uh, and that means we're going faster than light, but not super, we're not doing the warping. Okay. We're just going real, real fast, uh, as evidenced by these uh, yellow lines that yeah, are whisking yeah. past us. Okay, so you can see down there, um, that little, I'm looking right at it right now, it's the compass mm -hmm. next to my big center disc there. That's my yeah. scanner. That's my compass. That little blue dot is uh, the next thing I need to target. Um, ah, okay. So we're accelerating here in Super Cruise, and you can see that time ticking down. But uh, I'm going to engage the uh, warp again and get there fast again. Frameshift drive charging. 
Mm. And you have to worry about fuel and stuff like that. You can't just jump forever. Exactly, or... yeah. So you can see down there, I think that's how much fuel I will use in this jump, that ah. blue part, okay. I think, or that's how much I have. Yeah. Three, two, one, Kaboom. Cool. So yeah, you can't just jump forever. I need to, I refill it at pretty much every stop I yeah, uh, yeah. stop I make. Uh, the fuel price has changed from stop to stop just based on... Uh, I haven't noticed, but I'm is, yeah, I was probably... Say, is fuel part of the economy? Oh. Ah! Oh, okay. All right. Uh, so now I'm in the Yakabugai system. I'm going to throttle back here. Uh, and I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to find that station. Sarabov station? Is that where... That sounds right. Okay. We're going to lock destination to oh, that. Oh, there you go. That's what I was looking for. Yeah. And then we're going to... The thing is, you can't you can't drill down uh, if you're not in the ah, system itself. Got it. Got it. So if you're in some other system, you gotta go yeah. there first before you can do this. All right. So now it's on my compass, which is helpful. And now we're gonna book it. So we're still in super cruise, and this is the tricky part. So you're going real, real fast. Uh -huh. We're going uh, 13, 14, 15 C. I, I'm assuming that's 16, 17 times the speed of light. Okay. So you can see over there. At this rate, we would get there in seven seconds, but I am decelerating. Yeah. So I've pulled back on the throttle into that blue zone down there. My throttle is uh, that, oh, yeah, that blue okay. line over there. Yeah. See, I can, that's my throttle. Um, and the blue zone basically means like, you want to keep it here. Uh, to get to this place without overshooting it and that sort of thing? Right, yeah, yeah. it's sort of contextual when you're um, just flying around. The mm -hmm. blue spot means like, this is optimal zone for high turn rate. Ah. Uh, too slow and you'll just, putter around and too fast and you'll, uh, you know. Yeah. It, 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 it takes uh, uh, momentum into account, so. Yeah. Okay, so. Is Super Cruise something you can only get into when you're coming out of a warp? No, you can manually activate Super Cruise. Okay. It has some bearing on um, your proximity to things with large mass. Uh, so, like, when you're close to a station, you are mass locked. You can see over there, but it really yeah, indicates yeah, that. Yeah. Uh, so you have to get kind of far away from a, a station before you do it. And also, I think if you're close to a planet or a star, your super cruise speed can be limited. Ah, okay. Um, so we are two million miles out. Um, safe distance gauge ready. So I'm going to turn off my super cruise. Hmm. You can only disengage. Oh! Whoa, okay. Whew. Never get used to that. Uh, you can technically disengage Super Cruise when you're going fast, but you will come out of it like tumbling and disoriented. Oh, nice. Uh, and your ship will take a little hit ah. uh, to the hull. So we're just uh, cruising along at, what are we, 160 speed units. Mm-hmm. Um, so... We are within seven and a half kilometers of the station, so that means that we can uh, request docking. Docking request granted. All right. Uh, I have been denied docking requests. Really? I don't know why, hmm. but I believe my hypothesis, uh, I haven't done a lot of research on this. I've only like, you know, asked. Danny O'Dwyer and Kevin Van Ord, they're the ones who have been playing it on GameSpot. Yeah. What's up with that? Um, and I think it's because uh, I'm playing online, there are too many people in the port. Oh. Because um, when I log off and go to solo, it puts, mm -hmm. like, it's, it's seamless. You just, you are in the same place as you were. Oh, yeah. Um, it just works. It let me in point. there. Yeah. 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 So I'm going to, my docking request has been granted, so I'm going to fly in. Uh, it automatically uh, accommodates when you enter a place um, for the roll of the station, so you don't have to like keep rolling around oh, with it. Yeah. Um, thirty-four. Where's thirty-four? Eight. Forty-three. This number doesn't make much sense. No. Oh. Thirty-four. There we go. Wow. That's pretty awesome. They've modeled multiple landing pads, and you have to go to your landing pad. And yeah. Like that's 
if you go to the wrong one, which I have done by accident, you could find. Ah, well, seems sensible, I guess. Yeah, but I like that kind of stuff, you know? It's not just like, oh, land at any one. Well, it yeah. wouldn't really be like that if we were actually doing this. Yeah. Okay. Landing can be tricky, but... Landing gear. Oh, yeah, landing gear. Uh, but it's a lot easier with the Hotas. Uh -huh. uh huh. You can see down there, nice little visual representation mm -hmm. of what I'm doing. So I'm just using my thrusters. Boom! Here we go! I think it'd be cool if you could see people walking around in there. Yeah, yeah. You know, just like some some full motion video of people. Right. Yeah. Or if you the, just uh, got out and walked in or something. Can you you can't get out of the ship and? Not yet. They say that that is coming. Huh? Yeah. All um, right. All right. So let's just. Uh, I don't know. I don't know why you would enter the hangar. Uh. Yeah, that's something I need to figure out. Because mm. you can just do everything from out here. Maybe yeah. if there's like fighting going on, that might. Uh, oh, yeah. I want to get inside for that. So I refueled. Let's go to the bulletin board, and uh, there we go. Delivering the cargo. All right. Sweet. Mm. Give cargo. It's a little. Uh, yeah, okay. So you can see I... Uh, Effect, economic bust down. I don't know what that means. You made it that much closer to an economic boom. I guess that's, yeah, the that's the effect for them. You've lowered the bust. You've, uh, you've raised the, your reputation. My influence is now 0%. Great. Oh, I see, yeah, okay. The influ Okay, reputation for them and for you. Wow, okay. Yeah. So if I if I, you actually go over here, you can uh, yeah see my reputation mm -hmm. there with the Empire, the Alliance, United Kini Jeez. Coalition. There, the the Yaku Yakabugai Liberals. I don't know why I keep having trouble with that name, but well, there's also the Yakabugai oh. Conservatives. Right. Okay. I'm neutral with everybody. Yeah. I'm uh, nobody's yeah, enemy. You got to do more stuff. Yet. Guess so. Yeah. You know, if you're not making any enemies, you're not trying very hard. Mm -hmm. Uh, some stats. Sure. All right. Um, fire groups. This is cool. Like, if you had a whole bunch of uh, different kinds of weapons, you could just assign them. Like, number one, these numbers mean like my primary fire. This is my secondary fire. So you yeah. could like toggle. You could toggle uh, on the fly. They're using buttons on your joystick between your fire or your. Uh, your fire groups. Mm -hmm. So, like, if you just wanted to fire lasers to get their shields down and then switch over to your guns to shoot their hull. Sure. Stuff yeah. like that. Uh, nothing in here because I just unloaded all my uh, my uh, cargo. And these are, like, you can manually do things like retract your landing gear. Don't want to do that. Ah. Um, okay. So, I have another another mission here that I picked up earlier. What, what happens if you, if you enter the hangar? Is it just these menus in a different look? Yeah. Or the, the, okay. We were in the hangar before, uh, before we uh, said launch in that last one that oh. we popped out. And we oh, were, right, right, so right. So we could just go down. Nah, that's, um, yeah. So let's see. We can haul some more stuff. I'm not really feeling that right now. That's, that had a fine on it. What was that? I don't know. Is that know the fine that... for abandoning it? Maybe? Oh, maybe. That's good. Yeah. Hmm. I haven't really been watching my. Uh, my credits, so wow. that's very possible. Um, let's not do that one. This shows up a lot. The Navy likes me. Okay. Uh, and they really want me to find some combat stabilizers. So let's let's see how I would do that, or how I how I have tried to do that in the past. Okay. Let's go to the galaxy map. Um, we'll go to view here, and we'll do this. So. Here, this is kind of a lot, um, but let's just here, turn this off to make it. Oh, it's kind of not what I'm, all right, well, whatever. Um, these are trade routes for every conceivable type of thing that can be traded. Uh, and that is, you can see here, things coming to and going from the yeah. current system that I'm in. So if I wanted to see, say, what should I buy here? Uh -huh. That uh, if I'm going here, I'm like, well, what what could I buy low and sell high over here? I want to know what's being exported. Like, what what's real hot? What's this orange stuff? Right. So I'm going to yeah. turn 
all these off and just focus on the orange. And oh my, there are a lot of oh boy. oranges. Um, no, no, no. Come on, what's the what's the big one? Aha! Aluminum. All right. I don't actually know if this is the right way to do things, but. You say, because on, on some level, like, since it's already being exported, aren't you just bringing more of it? Like, maybe the, it's being exported, but the demand is already being met. R right. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, no, I'm no expert trader. Uh, but you can select this system and purchase trade data? Ah. Because so, it seems like when you were in the system, you were looking, or when you were looking at the economy stuff, there was definitely like a supply and demand, high demand, medium demand, like you know, high supply, like th that stuff was listed there. Right. So we can go over here, back to commodities. Do do do. Right. So uh, it took me a while to figure this out, and I'm not sure I have fully grasped it, but uh, Danny helped me mm -hmm. uh, understand this stuff. So sell is how much you could sell it for. Yeah. Buy is how much you pay to buy it from yep. this place. Mm -hmm. Cargo is how many you have. Demand is this current station. Uh, and I'm guessing that's how many units are being demanded at this station. Uh -huh. people, people on this station or in the planet below it want 15,000 mineral oils. Uh, whereas hydrogen fuel, we, this station has 248,000. We have a lot of supply. Um, so that's, so if, that's why its prices are way lower than the galactic average right now. Correct. Yeah. yeah. So if I wanted to, like if, if that system we were looking at had a, um, uh, or in, imported hydrogen fuel, I probably would have wanted to buy mm -hmm. a lot of that stuff because it's, it's a high supply uh, and it's below the galactic average. But if we went up to the top here and click this, we could actually drill down and look at I forget what the name of that one. Let's look at Aravate. Um, and see basically a, gra or a spreadsheet representation of what we saw in the, in the graphical thing. Right. Um, yeah. Space spreadsheets. Space spreadsheets. Everyone loves them. Yeah. But what, I, what, I, what this doesn't tell me is, uh, is demand there high or low? It's right. Just like like what's, the, what's the price? The, we, you know that someone's being sent there. You don't know what, what they're getting for it once they get there. Exactly. Yeah. So... I don't know if there's a better way to do that. You may be able to, like, you know, go over here and install some module and purchase something that looks like, you know, a FAR scanner or whatever. Um, a lot of the scanners seem really cool. Uh, there's a lot of things you can add to your ship. Like, I, I know the old Elite had, like, an automatic docking um, module and stuff. But uh, so, basically, if I wanted to go find combat stabilizers, I would have to go in here... Uh, I think they're technically under medicine. Oh. Like medically like, stabilized yeah, yeah, is what they're yeah. talking about. Got it. Um, that, is, that is not obvious. Yeah. yeah. I was looking in weapons for a yep. long time. Um, and then you want to look by economy. And there's no medical in here. Maybe like service. I don't know. Like, so. Huh. I think I can only really see uh, results of these filters of things that I'm within uh, jump distance to. Right, yeah. And if I've set these right, if I'm you know, correct in assuming I know how this works, I don't think there's any places around here that I can buy combat stabilizers. Uh, so I don't, I don't know what the Navy expects me to do. Maybe this is just a thing that I Yeah, and you just uh, take just the job and find ignore. it eventually and... I just ignore this when they pop up like every every uh, station I go into. And are they always looking for combat stabilizers? That or uh, I think personal weapons. Okay. Something yeah. like that. What's this? Wipe out pirate ships. Sure. Yeah. All right. Where are we going? Al Alry Sector DLY85, LHS3447, and Cremain. Sure. Let's just accept that straight away. Yeah. That sounds great. Um, so where should we go? What is close? I think if we actually go in here, we might be able to see close systems. And what is... Something's... Are those fragments flying in? Did... Someone blow each other... Someone get in a fight? I don't know. 
in the space man. Yeah. Uh, what are we doing? <laughs> oh, uh, you're gonna go blow up pirates. Yes. Um, that's not it. That's not it. That's is that where we? Oh, excess mass. Weird. Okay, I think that is where we're going. All right, let's go back to the galaxy map and see if we can find one of those things. I do know LH LHS33 something is one I've been to before. Um, let's just look at that again. Yeah. Because we can we can search and it would make things a lot easier. Uh, we want transactions, hunt pirates. Um, okay, Al Rai, DLY85, LHS33 or 3447, and Cremain. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. LHS three four four seven. Oh. Hey, that's not very far away at all. Let's yeah. go there. All right. Let's do it. This is where I would go if uh, if we entered the station, but they're just turning me around. Ah. Uh, it took me a while. I would land on a pad, and then it wouldn't actually um, land me. Uh -huh. And it was because I was facing the wrong direction. So oh. you have to be facing the right way. Just a little tip for anybody. Can't figure it out. All right, so my compass should already... Yeah, it's pointing you somewhere. ...be locked to the next system I need to go to, which is right there. So let's get out of mass lock. A uh, book in it. I also have a boost. Mm -hmm. um, which is a, a sub-light thing. It's just like to go faster or okay. get Might, out, might get use out it in way. combat. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So actually, this is a good time. It just depleted that ENG uh -huh. meter over there. So that is... Uh, that's energy going around clockwise, weapons, uh, reset, and systems. So I can actually divert power. Oh, yeah, yeah. Cool. To different. See, by diverting yes. more energy, now I can go faster, have right. faster top speed. Yep. And if I boost, my boost will uh, refill more quickly. Same ah, thing yeah. if I did that with. Uh, the systems, my shields will now regenerate more quickly, mm -hmm. and here my weapons will cool down more quickly. Right. You can see over there that 55% next to that uh, red uh, wavy heat line marker, that's my heat, my overall heat oh, okay. uh, for my ship. Um, I don't want to exceed that. No. It starts bad things happen. So I'm just going to press uh, reset, and that's again just more buttons on my joystick mm -hmm. uh, to, uh, to make everything set again. Okay, let's jump. Drive charging. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm mm -hmm. It all checks out. Yep. That's what we're doing. Greens across the board. You can actually uh, go into a text file and edit the RGB values and uh, change the oh wow UI stuff. Yeah. And make it green or whatever. That's cool. Purple. Yeah, there's a, there's a website out there that like you can just change sliders and mm. it'll give you the, the text snippet you need to. Ah! Ah! Oof. Super cruising. All right. It's, it's still gonna take more than a year. Yeah. Thankfully it's we a have pretty long super cruise. The warp drive. Um. So let me just make sure here that uh, we're going to the right place. Hunt pirate. LHS three three four seven. That's us. Um, I wonder if I could go down here. I no. Well, unlock destination. What is that? That would that just untargets that. Oh, okay, got it. Um, you have to be locked to uh, a destination to be able to hyper jump there. Ah. Um, I wanted to. Yeah, let's do this and then go into the system view because I want to see, once we get into the system, we're just going to spawn somewhere in here, you know? Right, yeah. Uh, I want to kind of see if I can divine where the pirates will be because um, I don't want to waste my time. So what are you? You're a station. 
Controlling faction. Okay. I want to look for maybe like an anarchist faction. Mm -hmm. Future Freedom Party. Future, future, freedom party. Okay. How about you guys? Oh, just planets. How about you? Way out and whatever this is. Cartel. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Let's let's see where we come in. I think this is this icon. I thought this icon meant this is where your ship is, uh, but maybe that's just where I've been before yeah, or yeah. where I'm targeted to. I don't know. Hmm. Um. But, okay. I don't have any answers for you. Yeah, all right, well, good to just scout it out before we jump there, Yeah. I guess. Um, still establishing best practices for myself. Right. See, we're accelerating, so it oh, would only take us 20, 20 days. days from here, yeah. yeah. I think Danny uh, just pointed his ship in a direction and hit go for a while and just left it running. Yeah. I wonder how that turned out. <laughs> You'd want to think you would get jumped or some random event so, happened or something. But. It might happen in this quick look, but when you're in hyperspace like this, uh -huh. people can use what's called an interdiction device and knock you out of it. Oh, wow. Uh, and when that happens, both of you are presented with like an escape vector, which is really just like a, a target on the screen. Yeah. Ooh, oh, okay. Uh, and you've got to like maneuver your ship to stay in the escape vector, and it's, it gets harder and harder, and whoever lasts the longest... Uh, like if I if I get interdicted, uh -huh. if I last longer than him, then the interdiction doesn't happen. But if he lasts longer, then we both get knocked out, and then we can fight. Ah. Uh, but again, we get disoriented because we're jumping out. Yeah. Um, so okay, let's look over here and see what's close to us. Whoa. All right. Unidentified signal source. These are fun. Uh, these are often like something is here. Hmm. Um, you probably want to check the. Check this out. So let's let's lock that destination and check it out. Okay. Slow down. Oh, that means I was close to it and I just passed by it apparently. So I'll throttle back to the gr uh, blue zone. And then, oh yeah, we are close. Yeah. Could these be our pirates or is this likely to be something else? Uh, it could be pirates. It could be, uh, you know, space wreckage that I could just like salvage. Okay. Um, it could be... Like kind of a random nothing. event sort of thing? Sure. So we are three light seconds. Okay. Approaching. Uh, it's really easy to blow by these things yeah, uh, when you're in yeah. super cruise, which is why I'm like kind of focused here uh, and trying not to go below seven seconds. That's kind of the sweet spot. Mm. Um, if you do blow by it, you can just like, you know, throttle back and spin around and try again, but uh, it takes some getting used to. All right, 24 million meters. Getting there, getting there, getting there. I do like the fact that they uh, place this stuff in realistic distances. There's another one. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> uh, last night I was trying to um, find a traitor and I, f I found a guy yeah and I just ended up chasing him uh, in super cruise oh hmm. and like I almost collided with him but like I don't I don't know if I need an interdiction device to like uh, contract updated huh oh you so let's scan. Did that show in the upper left if you look up Comms had something on it. I wonder if that. Oh, would really? Have been. Scan him. See what's up. Expert, Darren Kelly, clean. All hmm. right. I think it would say wanted if he was like a pirate or something. Yeah. Smells very clean. Yeah. It uh, does not appear that he has deployed hard points, which means weapons. Uh, so I don't know that this is our guy. Yeah. I mean, I could just try to blow him up if you want to see how his combat works. Mm. Or if you, do you want to see if we can find, let's the, see actual if we can find the actual pirate. Okay. So, let's go over here, see if we can find another. Mm. I am guessing these are just like celestial bodies. Yeah. Lawson, Dalton, Yaping. 
So Bear if you Baron. if you if you kind of highlight the, the whatever waypoint is given to you via the quest, it's not going to point you directly at a spot in this system or a ship. Well, um, it said contract updated. Maybe. Oh yeah, you're right. Maybe that's what that exclamation point means. Uh, target type. Target type. Alt systems. New target type. Authority. What? Target count. Massacre uh, the authority. Alternate reward. Alternate system. Um, so is this like instead of taking out the pirates, you can choose to blow up the authority? Look, the, I'll make the you the Kremen. same offer we made all the others. 18,000 credits for four dead authority. You want to make a big score today? Well, now you can. Hmm. Huh. Okay. So, okay. Um, so now we're shooting the authority. Uh, in any event, I don't think we want this guy, so let's find a place to go. Um, go someplace close. I took a trip out. <laughs> I was in the system last night and took a trip out to Fairbairn Station. It took a long time to get there. I couldn't jump there. I had to super cruise because oh. it's within the same system. Um, but man, it was probably a good 10 minutes of just cruising. Super cruising. Yeah. Okay, let's find a station here. Lost and Orbital. That looks like the closest one. Way to lock and super cruise. Here we go. Drive charging. Oh. Ready to engage. This is my favorite part. If your throttle is not there yet, yeah. uh, it says throttle up to engage, and then you just go whoops. Three, two, one, engage. Cool. And now we're cruising. You just, you just radio in this thing. Oh, do I ever. Something to stream a little audio. Listen to a little Night Ranger mm -hmm. while you cruise, super or otherwise. <laughs> I love the look of it. I just... This, do you feel like you're building towards something, or is it just kind of like one randomly generated <clears throat> mission after another? Well, I, I do want to upgrade my ship and stuff. Yeah, I think that would yeah. be cool, but like... I, I haven't been making money very fast. Uh, stuff's expensive. Like yeah. a, a new gun is like you know seven grand right now, and that's for yeah, just the cheap ones. It seems like you'd really need and to. I, just I've sort only got of, like twenty. Yeah. Um, you gotta you gotta play the play the game on the commodities. Right, but I imagine once you like it will become exponential uh, the amount of money right. that you can earn with the, the type of ship you have. What the, the problems I'm having with it are like. You know, it says go to this system and kill traders, and you can't find any, or you don't know um, if you do find someone, how do you kill them? Like, just the moment to moment things like that, uh, they haven't been so great at explaining. Yeah. Um, there is a really good, I think it's just uh, elitedangerous.com slash guide. Mm -hmm. It's like a one page uh, website that gives you a pretty good, like, here's just how this game works. Um, and then from there, you can kind of uh, just figure stuff out uh, your own self. Mm -hmm. But um, things like that, I'm, I'm having a little trouble with. Yeah. I, I imagine that those unidentified signal sources uh, are, you know what, let's just... Sure. Sometimes those are hard to find, so... Um, I'm still, like, feeling out the rhythm of the game. Right. Um, but you know, I think it. I think it feels real good. I think it mm -hmm. looks really good. Uh, I'm loving playing with my joysticks and track IR. What stuff the, works great? So, so I, I looked into this a little bit. It's not available on Steam, but they're selling it themselves for yes, sixty bucks. It is sixty dollars. What are, there's it, there's some other stuff that they're selling for like seventeen. Are uh, those, those are ships? ships. Ship skins. Skins. Okay. Yeah. So it's okay. So you're not getting paint jobs. Okay. Yeah. That's uh, uh, five bucks are... per per skin. I think. Or like seventeen fifty for a, a pack. Yeah, of for a first-person game, that's an expensive yep. skin. Well, you know, you, you flying. Apparently, you can uh, group up with people. I haven't tried this yet. Yeah. Uh, you can group up with people, your friends, uh, and then s start your own universe, or you know, a, an instance of the universe that's just you guys. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, 
disengage. Like, you won't start over or anything. Uh, you'll just import. It's just solo, but with a, a squad of your choosing. Right, alright, there's yeah. some ships in here. Asp. Competent. Flash Gordon. What? Uh, stuff's happening. He's wanted. He's he's wanted. He's shooting. Fearless Freddy, an expert. Look at these guys. He's clean. All right. Well, and then you should probably engage. All right. I'm gonna go after the pirate because I'm. That's what I was contracted to do. Take it. That's cool. Gonna divert power to weapons. He's not shooting back. Yeah. I have not killed anyone yet. Okay, that's. I was about to ask how much combat have you seen. Okay. He's Point. coming about. Yep. That's. This is AI, by the way, right? Yes. Uh, if it was a. Uh... It would have like a commander. Or yes. Something. Yeah. Precisely. In other words, they just decided to name someone Flash Gordon in their world. Flash Gorgon. Oh, Gorgon. Like. Okay, yeah. sorry, sorry. I am sitting far away from the television. Oh. Mm. His shield is down, and he is at 65, 64% health. Okay. Oh, you are really whittling him down nice and slow. Yeah, well, these are the guns you start with. Yeah. Enemy shields off on Okay, let's... Maximum turn rate. Oh, the shields are online. Okay, now we're now they're offline. What I don't know is if it's a last hit sort of deal. Okay. Uh, like if, if right, one of these guys yeah, is yeah. the last hit, will I just not get credit for it? I don't know. Mm. I am glad that I have them here, though. Oh. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, there you go. That hurt. Smash them. Eight percent. All right. Come on, come on, come on. Where are you? Yes, 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 yes. Turn yes, and yes, burn. Yes. Uh, throttle down and get them in your sights. Hit the brakes and fly right by. Yeah. Turn up, fly upside down, and then fly over them. Uh, and then give them the finger. Come on! Yes! yes! Target destroyed. All right! You just got, did you just get 26,000 yeah. credits? Bounty claim awarded, destruction of criminal Flash Gorgon. Excellent. Yeah. Okay, uh, Woo. gosh, I've, okay, I've never done this, so where are my bounties? Uh, um, hey, there we go. So that was not part of my, I don't think it was part yeah, of this. It's, because that thing oh, changed. Oh, no. Target's and... killed one. Oh. All right, so I did kill it. He was technically a pirate, but I can go, I think, And he had this. a bounty, yeah. So you, bounty. That's... So let's, what do you say we try to do that? Yeah, just go to, you just need to go to a Federation a station. A Federation station. So... Um, let's go to the system map, see if any of these are Federation. Mm, yeah. Great. Fantastic. Excellent. Baron. Yeah. Um, is that the one I'm closest to, though? No, what am I close to? Uh, start with an L. Lawson? Mm. Orridge, yeah, thing. Oh, these are all. Yeah, there, there was the last one was Federation. That one. Dalton, okay. Trev Thick. Woolridge. Lawson Orbital. Eager Independent, okay. All right, fair baron. Yay. Hmm, these are all far away. Cannot comply. What? Hard points deployed. Okay. So. Okay, turn off my guns. Fairy Baron, we're still targeted. Point and shoot. Frameshift drive charging. All right. 
This is gonna be one super cruise. Certainly is. What, uh... What are those other lines? But these over here? Yeah. I think those are just, like, uh, elliptical orbits oh, okay, of okay. things like planets and stuff. Hmm. You know what? It seems like it's gonna take a while. I wonder if we couldn't just... Be faster Galaxy to jump map. somewhere. Yeah, and then what's over here? Who are you? What's going on in your system? Uh, sometimes the system will be redded out because you haven't been there or you uh, don't know anything about it, so you can mm. buy. Oh, right, um, yeah. I think I would have to do for that one. Anything I know? Who are you? How long is it going to take to get to this other spot? Let's see. Okay, we're, we're approaching. Yeah. How often is it on in this game? Like, are, are you at risk of getting jumped just while you're... Um, when I am... I have gotten jumped uh, only when I have been in... Um, Warp. Uh, only when I've been in the uh, uh, player player games. Or online, I guess. Oh, yeah, I've never yeah, been yeah. jumped when I'm solo. Okay. Um, and I think I've only been jumped when I'm in hyperspace. Mm. Not when I am in... There we go. Frigaha. Frigaha. I've been there. Tell me about the system. Federation. 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 All right. Well, what if... What if we did that? Sure. Um, so let's... Whoop. Sorry. Mike. Uh, Arabate. It's right here. Okay. Let's see how we're doing. I want to jump, Jeff. Jump. Let's jump. Well, I don't want to go back to where we started. Where is, uh, Frigaha? Here we go. All right. Banking. All right. And booking. Frameshift drive charging. Yeah, I think this would be a great uh, music or podcast game. Oh, sure. Yeah. I don't know what that noise was about. It's like a Euro Truck Simulator sort of thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, can you imagine if they had like space satellite satellite radio yeah that'd be good ah! Ah! okay what do you got for me Frigaha. eagle orbital anybody else angle great what? perfect Slow down. Yeah, I just think it'll it'll take me a bit of like just being in the game. Sure. And, yeah. Uh, oh, that's how you do that. It seems also like it's a great game to like talk to other people mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. uh, that they are playing. Um, yeah. And like, oh wait, I've heard that if you go here. Uh, that's where that's where you know, the uh, the navy things are or mm. whatever. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It just seems like the you know the, like by building the whole thing on kind of making your own fun and and all these kind of procedurally generated quests and stuff. Like, I don't know. Does it seem shallow to you? Even though the world is huge and, and um, everything. I guess that's like that's my main concern. Is like none of this content seems like engaging in a like. 
story sort of way. It is not uh, in a story sort of way. Yeah, which, you know, that's fine. Mm-hmm. It's... I, and I, I think the difference is it doesn't try to do that. Sure, yeah. Um, so I think it is a perfectly valid thing for a game to say, here's a system, uh, go for it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, you know, it sounds like that's what No Man's Sky is going to do a lot right. of, I'm yeah, hoping. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's, I mean, it's what Minecraft is, right? Like, yeah, sure. It's about, it's not about not having anything to do. It's about assigning your, or it's not about making your own fun. It's about having a fun, uh, um, environment and you set your own goals. Right. Um, and I think the environment is fun. Yeah, cool. That, that, that looks great. Yeah. I want to see a doc and get this bounty. Yeah, me too. I want to get that cash money. Uh, so far, that has been the most lucrative thing I have done. So yeah, maybe I was going to say, I'll that's go like down you're the doubling your money here. Bounty hunter route. That seems fun. Uh, okay, yeah, request docking. Uh, hello. Um, transactions, contacts, you. You. Docking. Oh, TK, okay. Look out. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, hold up. Good thing I asked for a docking request first. Yeah, don't talk right that. Ugh. Alright, landing pad one. Pad one, please. Uh. Is that me? That's, yeah. So sometimes they'll, um, they won't have an inside, they'll just oh, have you huh. dock on the outside, which is kind of cool. Um, so I can never tell which direction. Do I have? Hey, look at that. Uh, I think I want to face away from that arrow. Okay. I think that's what shows in front of me when I, when I take off. And they always want to flip me around, so. Rest action. Oh, landing, landing gear. gear. Landing gear. Turn my light off now. Silent running. Nope, I didn't want to do that. Nope. Shields offline. Nope. Landing well, gear oh, deployed. Oh, jeez. Uh, why are my shields offline? Uh, so, you can see over there, uh, above my fuel, that little wavy line. Yeah. Looks like a waveform. Um, that is my heat signature. Uh, okay. You are detected yeah. by the amount of heat that you have. Right. Um, and if you run silent, you can I'm gonna divert more power. No. Apparently, I can't divert while I'm. Oh, yep. Mm, reset. Okay. Uh, if if you run silent, your heat signature depletes, um, or it, it goes away, and you're not as you're harder to detect. Right. But right. uh, it means you close your your heat vents and thus uh, you heat up in, internally. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, so if you want to do that, you can. Uh, what are we doing? We are going uh, here and we are collecting a bounty. A bounty. Yes. Hello, officers. Thank you very By much. By the way, I killed that guy. All right, see ya. Balance, 49,000 credits. Nice, You're coming up. Yeah, let's see if I can let's see if I can buy something real quick and we'll call it. Can I sell anything, am I far enough away? No, I haven't really ventured outside of this general area. Yeah, yeah. Um, Is this uh, where everyone starts or do you know? If, do you know? <clears throat> uh, I went and looked at Danny's screen and he had very similar um, uh, Port names, so. Okay. Um, oh, I can't buy stuff here. Oh, it's not a. Yeah, I mean it's a tiny little. Yeah. Podunk outpost. Oh well. So. I mean, yeah, it's. I could buy a weapon or, you know, a module or a sensor yeah. or something cool. Cool. But yeah, Jeff, that's uh, that's elite dangerous. It looks neat. Yeah, it's it's out now. Um, they have promised uh, updates and augmentations to the core game, such mm-hmm. as, you know, walking around and um, it sounds like they want to get to where Star Citizen wants to get in terms of like a fully fleshed out universe. And uh, I think they are well on their way. It's, it's, it's 
it seems really solid. Yeah, it seems like the, the fundamentals, they, they have that stuff down. Um, and now it's just a matter of populating this universe with more stuff and systems, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So uh, I'll see you on the flip side. I'll see you in the stars. <laughs>